Eleven, eleven. Do those numbers mean anything to you? Do you see those numbers often together? Do you ever look at the clock and see that number often? Is there a significant day in your life which fell on the 11th month and the 11th day or even the 11th year, 2011. Well, I can tell you how I got started with this spiritual number, 1111. I used to be a severe alcoholic for about 30 years. One day I got so sick and tired of being an alcoholic I decided to quit. So happens, I quit on the 11th month, the 11th day of 2011. I was just glad to leave that path behind. I had no idea the significant of the numbers 11, 11, 11, until years later. So I pondered and I asked the Lord, what are these numbers and what power do they have in them? What is the significance of 11 and 11? Why do I keep seeing these numbers on my clock? Why do I see 1112 also? So I searched the Bible and I highlighted the 11th chapter and the 11th verse of every book that had it in it. When I read the Bible, I always look into the future. I take the past and equivalent that to what's going on today, whether it's the Old Testament or the New Testament, and then I equivalent it what may happen in the future. Isaiah 11.11 is significant to me, and it stuck out to me, and I felt the Lord was speaking to me. He may also speak to you through 11.11 of Isaiah. It simply states, and it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathmos and from Cush, and from Elam, and from Shinar, and from Hamath, and from the islands of the sea. So I asked the Lord many a times, what does this mean, sir? And I felt like he was telling me that he is going to gather many people from all over the world, his remnant, together one day. Are you remnant? This is the future. I always, each time I read this, felt like that I was going to be a part of this great gathering of the Lord. And we, the remnant, we're going to do, are going to do mighty things for the Lord here on earth. Lately, I've been seeing 11, 12, a lot more also too. And of course, the number 12 is right after 11. 
So, Isaiah 11:12 states, And he shall set up an, a sign for the nations, and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel, and gather together the dis dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Remnant, are you ready for this? You have been being prepared to be gathered together by the Lord, but you must qualify for this. I encourage you to press in with everything that you have inside of you to be obedient to the word of God and to set aside those things that so easily beset you. That means to put away things, to set aside things that you can easily stop that you may believe are offensive to God. Things that will keep you from being remnant. Things that will keep you from be, from moving on and moving in to the destiny that the Lord has set forth for you before you were born here on earth. Revelations 11.11 11. We are living in Revelations right now. There are certain of us that will work with the two witnesses. Many don't know who the two witnesses are, but I do. The two witnesses are Moses, which was a great pastor and miracle worker for God, and Elijah, which is a man of fire coming down from heaven. Many of us will witness this, the two witnesses. You see, they may be in a certain place in Jerusalem, but we will be able to communicate with them and them with us. You see, if you are a remnant and you have been chosen to work with the two witnesses, they will send you on missions. It's part of your training and it's going to be a lot of fun. Back to 1111 of Revelation. And after three days and a half, this is three and a half years, by the way. The spirit of life from God entered into them. And they stood upon their feet and great fear fell upon them which saw this. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, come up here. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud. And their enemies saw them. I will see this. You see, everyone will see the two witnesses. Because it will be televised. It will be international news. If you're having problems finding it, tune in to a channel on YouTube or go on the World Wide Web and look up Angel TV. That is God's network. That is God's television network. Many don't know about it. Angel TV. We will see this. 
And that's what 1111 means to me. I am looking forward to working with the two witnesses. It will be the time of eternity for me. What about you? Are you looking forward to that? Are you getting ready for that? For you must qualify for it. You say, well, what are the qualifications to work with the two witnesses? What are the qualifications to work, or should I say, to be a part of the remnant? All I can tell you is to press in from sunup to sundown to the with to have a better relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ every moment of each day and then ask the Lord before you go to sleep to visit you in your dreams and to bless you in your dreams to ask the Lord to help you get rid of things out of your life that are creating a barrier between you and him. He will do it just as he delivered me from 30 years of drinking and drugs. There is a prayer in the description area below. You can rededicate your life to the Lord or you can give your life, surrender your life to the Lord. I'll paraphrase it. It goes, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I, I repent. I believe that you died on the cross for me. Forgive me. Thank you for forgiving me of my sins. Amen. Now we'll say a short prayer here. and Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe if you like to the channel. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. And you can also leave a comment in the comment section. Father, this is 1111 of Revelation. In Jesus' name, I'm looking forward. I want to be a part of this remnant, Lord Jesus Christ, that will be able to work with the two witnesses, Moses and Elijah. I want to work with them. I'm excited about it. I don't want to miss it. I want to work with them, and I want to, for three and a half years, and I want to communicate with them, Lord. Isaiah eleven eleven, Father, I want to be a part of this, re this remnant that you are going to recover from the four corners of the earth, Lord Jesus Christ. I want to be a part of this sign that you're going to set up for the nations to see, Lord. I want to be a part of this assembly of yours, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, prepare me for it. I am ready. Do what you have to do. Mold me and shape me to be exactly who you need me to be, because I will not miss out on these wonderful events that are soon to come. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I honor you, I praise you, and I thank you so very, very much. Amen.